Hey, what's up guys? This is your girl Tracy with Tracy's World. And listen, today is another Sisters with My Sisters Soberistic Drink Thursday. But I have some bad news. I'm going, I'm flying solo. I'm flying solo because my sister is, she's better, but her kids are sick. Um, her two little ones, she has two little ones, they're under the weather. So she is taking care of them. So I will be on my own tonight. But don't be alarmed. Listen, we are still going to have a soberistic drink tonight. I don't have to make it because it is just that simple. It is a watermelon lime margarita. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Took a little bit of that simple uh, stirrings watermelon cocktail mix. And then I mixed it with the Ritual Tequila Alternative. And then splash it with a little lime juice and a splash of simple syrup and some ice. That's it. You kind of mix it according to your taste. You don't want to put too much of the mix, the cocktail, the pre-cocktail mix in there. So you just put enough. I think a couple of ounces is good enough. Three to four, maybe. Um, and then the tequila alternative, again, two to four ounces based on preference. And then just a splash of simple syrup. So you won't make it too sweet. And a splash of lime juice. That's it. So I don't even have to make it. We're just going to jump up into it right after this. Okay, y'all. Welcome back. To my video <laughs> welcome back y'all y'all know what today is it's sisters with my sisters as i said about four and it's so rich to drinking y'all this is my watermelon lime margarita oh my goodness watch this watch this y'all watch it and it smells so good mm. y'all see that this is what I'm sipping on tonight, y'all. Mm-hmm. Listen. <laughs> All right. Since it's just me, I didn't want to have to take time to make the drink and come back because I didn't want to prolong the process. All right. So, sisters came on last night, y'all. <laughs> Y'all know sisters came on last night. Man, I don't know what to say. All I can tell y'all is sisters be doing, that be some stuff going on. I'm t Tyler Perry. Really? Tyler Perry? Really? Okay. So it started with my girl. Y'all know Fatima is my girl. That's my girl. But it started with Fatima and Zach. And of course, let's just go into it. Zach is outside with um karen i could just stop right there and just be like okay zach is outside with karen and karen's like why you keep playing these games why you get he's like he ain't playing no games y'all we saw that you know in the end of last week i'm not playing no games you know um and so it just kept going on and on it went um and <laughs> and of course last week we saw fatima do her she didn't spin, but I said she should spin. That just would have sealed the deal. But we saw Fatima, you know, do her thing. And she came. She was like, I'm coming down. I'm coming down. So she came down them stairs in that little robe and her little stuff on. And so she's standing there. She's like, yeah, I'm waiting to hear it. And she's just like, her and Karen is like, face off. Zach's in the middle. Like, wait, wait, y'all. Just hold up. Hold up. Karen go home. Fatima go back in the house. Then eventually Zach was like, look, I'm going in the house. Because they was just like, he was in the middle and they was about to go at it, you know. And so Karen was getting all, you know, how girls getting all, you know, head roll, neck roll type of thing. Like, like she about to do something. And she don't want none of Fatima, y'all. She don't want none of Fatima. Fatima is different, okay? She built differently. She ain't with that. So Karen act like she about to jump all crazy and big and bad. And they all into it. I know these neighbors is like, I 
I, I listen, Zach done moved to the nice neighborhood, and I know they just like, what did he bring up in here? Because they all outside in front of the house. And they tripping. Like they outside in front of the house, they getting loud. It, you know, looked like it's about to go down. Then we start hearing a car in the background. But before anybody comes up and approaches them, Karen finally decides she gonna go. She gonna leave. She gonna go. So as she gets ready to walk away, here come a girl with a baby on her hip. And she she basically said, like, her name was Heather, and she was a stripper that Zach supposedly got with, and now they got a three-year-old. And so, <clears throat> Zach was like, who are you? Like, he didn't know who she was and all that. And then she told Karen, like, he really loved you. He was talking about you and all this kind of stuff. And she like, what? Like, who? You got a, you got a three-year-old? And Karen was like, oh, that was about the time that we got together. But I thought they was only together for two years. So I guess my timing is off. Because I swear, I could have sworn I heard them say two years. But I guess it's three. So the, Well, it had to be like four. Because it takes nine months for the baby to, you know, develop before you had a baby. So I thought they was only together for two years. So y'all, y'all timing, timing be tripping me. It tripped me out in this show. Like, I'm like, what? So they, they like, this girl is up there. Her name is Heather. She holding this baby, his little legs dangling. He looking towards, he, he, his head is, you know, uh, away from the camera, obviously. He's looking the other way. So we really didn't get a good look at him, a really good look at him. Um, but, um. It's a hot mess, y'all. That's a hot mess. I'm like, Zach can't win. Why they will let Zach win? Why they will let him be great? So, this uh, Zach was like, I don't know who she is. I don't know who she is. And so, Zach slipped up and say, like, you know, you know. well, they talk about the girl. She said, yeah, I'm a stripper. Okay. I'm like, okay. So, then... Zach is like something about the VIP. I don't know. You get with, you know, you go to the VIP, you get with somebody in the VIP. And then <gasps> Fatima's like, hold on, hold on. You said you didn't know her. Why are you lying? You said you didn't know her. Now you're saying something about the VIP. He's like, at all, we all go to the VIP. It's the VIP. Like, he couldn't get that story straight. Like, we go to the strip club, get in, going to the VIP. Like, he couldn't re really clear clean that up. Karen had enough, finally. So, Karen leaves. And he leaves, she leaves Zach, Heather, and Fatima, and the little baby, the little boy. Um, he's a big boy, but, you know, she leaves him, them. And so Fatima had enough. I mean, she had enough. She ends up walking away. She goes into the house, leaves Zach and Heather. And and, and so Heather is like, listen, I, um, I drove by and I saw y'all was outside, so I thought I'd stop by. And I guess it's like late, like midnight or whatever. She's talking about with a kid. Like, who, where they do that at? So, <laughs> so she, that's what she said, though. She saw everybody outside, so she stopped by. So, um, Zach told her he needed DNA and all that. It's a cute kid, though, but I didn't need a DNA test. And she's like, okay, okay. You know, and that, I'm telling you, that scene to start off. That just, that had me all up in, I was tired. That scene wore me out. Like, I didn't have seen no more of the show. And I liked the show, but I mean, it just wore me out. It was just like, too much at the beginning. Like, it's like, pow. Yeah. Like, I got slapped. It's like, a, like the handprint was right here. But, um, so that happened. So, moving right along. Um, Karen goes to Andy's. And she's crying and she's bawling her eyes out. She's having a hard time. Like, I made a fool of myself. And I did. And this woman was standing there. And this other woman came. And she, like, going through what happened to. She's telling um, Andy what happened. And then she notices Andy has a lot of her stuff packed. She's like, what's going on? So Andy tells her about Gary. Gary didn't have cameras on me, but he was looking at me through a telescope. And it was like, that is sick. So at, at that moment, Karen kind of sobers up quick and you know tries to be there for 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 andy but then she felt like it she was like andy you're supposed to be my friend you was my friend first i'm like this is some preschool elementary stuff like you can't be friends with her because you my friend you my friend that's how it was y'all
That's how it was. You was my friend first. And she just your assistant. I'm on Fatima. I was like, what? Hmm. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so anyways, um, so Andy, um, Karen was just like going that direction and Andy was so like crying with her and like, I'm sorry, I am your friend. I love you. And, 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 and so, um, Andy ends up asking Karen, could she go with her, stay with her, because she don't have any furniture in her house, so she's going back to her original place. And Karen's like, I don't like you right now, but we need each other. And so I, that was a yes. So they left to go to Karen's. and So, so that happened. So um, Danny's talk to, talk, Danny talks to Sabrina, and Danny's like, you be stealing white people money, that's I love daddy. Like, I love daddy. I might be skipping wrong, but this happened. Like, like I told y'all, it be happening. It might not happen in this order, but it happened. It happened. <laughs> so, um, so Danny is talking to Sabrina, trying to really feel, you know, the situation out. And she just telling Sabrina that Logan, which is the cop, you know, asked about her, knew some stuff about the bank robbery and stuff, and like what's going on, everything okay, like he would do for your friend. And um, Sabrina didn't know, obviously, she didn't know. And, and Danny's like, Why am I asking you this? Like, he would be involved in something like this. So they talk about that. Um, one of the things I noticed though is when Sabrina got to Danny, she just walked in, and Danny was, I mean, when yeah, Sabrina got to Danny, she just walked in, and Danny made mention, Y'all know we've been talking about it. I don't know, they probably watching us, huh? They watching us, huh? Because she said exactly what we be saying. Um, when Sabrina just walked in, like, You ain't gonna knock, and then she was like, Oh, I got the keys. I said, Oh, y'all been watching us. Let me sip on that. Let me sip on that because I, I heard that and I know we've been talking about that. Mm, mm, mm. It's good and cold. So she made a little mention of Sabrina just busting in her house. And I was like, yeah, that's what we get asked. We would talk about that. That's not realistic. So they're trying to work on that. So I appreciate that. I appreciate it. <clears throat> so they had a conversation about that. And then Sabrina was telling her how weird the date was with uh, with the bio and how he was asking about her. Ask, you know, bio was asking about Danny and just how weird the whole thing was. And um, yeah, that was pretty much that. <laughs> And so we move on, Maurice and Q. Maurice still ain't caught on. Q was like, I made you some breakfast. I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't eat a dang on thing that Q makes me. I wouldn't touch anything he makes me. Like, what? Nothing. Not a thing. Mm-mm. But anyways, he made breakfast. And it was, he was like, you know, um, Maurice was like, it's like about noon. He's like, I know I let you sleep in, you know, whatever. And Maurice got all dressed up. Maurice looked nice. He had a little, his little fit on. He was looking nice. He was looking nice, whatever. <laughs> he had his little fit on. And um, Q was still trying to run game on, on him and doing all that flirting and stuff. Like, ugh, it was just a hot mess. Because we know Q ain't up to no good. So that's, yeah. So, um, Maurice didn't give in because Q was getting flirtatious. And uh, Maurice held his, his ground like he's been doing. And he didn't give in. So he did not eat either. And, and so Q was like, you can take it to go. You can wrap it up. He's really persistent about Maurice eating this, whatever this is he made. And um, so Maurice leaves. Q gets on the phone. He calls Logan. I got it all. I got it on tape. Logan's like, what? I got them confessing to the whole thing. Marie saying that it was him and Sabrina that did, you know, set everything up. Now, you know, and he wanted to know, like, what would that work, you know, as far as the deal that he, I guess, had agreed to with them, the deal that he had, um, so that he wouldn't have to do any jail time. And so Logan is like, well, bring it to me here at the station. Yeah, I'm going to have to drink on that because that's stressing me out. 
Y'all, I don't have any makeup on again today because I don't know if it's the show or this makeup. <laughs> but it had me like all, I was all broke out. And so I had to take a break. I didn't take a little break from it, <clears throat> but um, they stressing me out. Okay, they they got me stressed. I'm so ready for that storyline to be over with. I'm ready for Q to be on the streets or in jail where he belong. Maurice to live his best life. They're not doing Maurice right. He they keep giving him like the short end, short end. Of, <laughs> I can't even say the short end of the stick. They're not doing him right. And I don't like it. I don't like it. So, um, go back to Zach and Fatima. Zach's trying to talk to Fatima about everything that went down the night before. Fatima ain't trying to hear it. And she kind of got a little attitude. And he's like, um, he, he, Zach had it though. Zach is up to, Zach is at his limit of, 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 he's just, he's tired. And so they talking and he gets a little loud with her, with her, like, you know, because he tired. He tired of like every time something come up, she wants to go back. Like, do you want to be with Karen or are you going to do me the way you did her? Like it, the insecurities, of, but she has every right to have those insecurities when so much drama keeps coming up in a short amount. Like we said, the relationship ain't been that long. But they've been going through all this stuff in a short amount of time. So she has every right to feel some type of way. But Zach is over it. He's tired. He's like, I love you. And and and, and, and I'm tired of you always saying, you know, whatever she says about Karen. Or are you going to do me like you did them? Because that's what Karen told her. I, I didn't say that. But she told her that, like, he's just going to do you the same way when he gets tired of you. So she feeling some type of way. You could tell she's feeling some type of way because she, now you know Fatima is my girl and she be dressed to the night. Like she be dressed, okay? But I don't know about this outfit that Fatima had on with this green. I like the combination, but it just wasn't working for me. It was like green shirt and blue pants, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. And normally I'm with the colors and, and, and playing around with it. It just it didn't work for me. The outfit wasn't working for me. Like you could tell homegirl was stressed in just her attire alone. She was stressed out. Um, yes. So, <laughs> and, and I've never said that about it because she always be ready, but I saw that and I was like, I don't know if that was intentional or not, if it was intentional or not, but it, it appeared that she was a little bit stressed out. She had, she had a lot going on. So, um, Zach and her talk and she's like, I told you I'm in it. Like I told you this and that and that and that and this, that and the other, but then <laughs> could get it out. But then she, um, gets up to go to work and say, Oh, and what? No kiss. And she was like, Kiss your baby mama. <laughs> Talk to them baby mamas you got. He was like, really? And she left. So she went to work. <sighs> so we gonna go back to, I feel like I'm just bouncing around, but this is literally how I went last. I go back to Andy and um, Karen. They're at the table at Karen's house, I guess in the morning before Karen and Andy goes to work. They're sitting down and they're talking. And um, they just having a conversation about everything. Um, of course, you know, Andy's like, Zach has moved on. She keeps saying the same thing. Um, Karen don't want to hear it. And how could Zach move on when she haven't moved on? And she actually said that the night she was crying with uh, Andy. But she just can't understand how he can move on. And she's still, she's still stuck in it. Um, so they sit at the table and they talking. And um, Andy decides she wanted to work. So Andy got this white jacket on, which is the jacket was nice. It had like cutouts in the back. It was really nice. Y'all with the bra. She a lawyer. That's what she was going to wear to work. Well, that's what she wore to work. I don't know what kind of dress code policies they have in her law office. 
but I ain't never seen nothing like that. I don't know what the heck, what? Let me drink on that. I can't, let me, she stressed me out. So, yeah, not only was, okay, let me just be real with y'all. These outfits, this, the outfits, they stressed me out this episode. Karen had some kind of white outfit on with, I was stressed out. I didn't, Karen, what was she doing? What was that that she had on? I don't, I, I, I don't know. With the shoes and stuff, it just didn't work for me. Andy looked like she about to go out a night on the town or something. Didn't work for me. Fatima's outfit didn't work for me. It was it was a mess. Uh, um, Brina always kind of doing what Brina do. So I'm <laughs> Brina does what Brina does. I, I'm not even finna say that too much about it. I actually thought the little trench coat was kind of cute, but let but the the rest. And the, but the outfits. I gotta drink again, y'all. Hold on. I'm so sorry. It it just took me. I just I. Can't, mm -mm. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I'm sorry. The outfits. Let me jump up. <laughs> so they sat at the table. They was talking or whatever. And, you know, they both had to go to work. But they kind of had a little a little moment of, of, of just talking. And, 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 and basically, uh, Karen was like, Danny was right. I don't know who my baby daddy is. And just different things like that. <laughs> um, just a little girl chat before work. Fatima's at work sitting at her desk in her office, and here comes Hayton Hayden. Y'all know I can't stand Hayden. I cannot stand Hayden. Here he come with his, <laughs> I can't stand Hayden, with his little man syndrome. That's what they said on the show. I did not say it. They said it on the show. She was talking about, about that. Um, and, and so Fatima just want to know, like, what's the deal with you? Why are you so into me and Zach? Why are you so into trying to bring him down? Why are you so invested in this? And he's like, yeah, I, I know how he did it. I know how he did it. I watched my friend of mine, you know, let me see the airport airport footage. I saw him talking to the senator's wife, bring some bags, and then she slipped on a piece of paper, which had the stock, the, the, the stock um, information on there. And that's how he did it. That's how he made millions. And I'm going to make sure blah, 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 blah. You know, he just went on and on like he going to bring him down. And Fatima's was like, why? Why are you so invested? What What are you getting out of this? What is it for you? You know, like, did people not treat you right in high school? Like, did somebody break your heart? Like, what is wrong with you? And um, when he first came, he's all, you ain't going to be smiling. He thought she was going to be like, <gasps> you know, all freaking out. And she didn't give him the reaction that he wanted. So that was good. But um, I could see in her face, you could see that the wheels were turning, that she has concern, but she was playing it off in front of Hayden. And so then she told Hayden something that I will not repeat because I don't know what it is. That's on my channel. But she told Hayden about the little syndrome that he has, <laughs> little beep syndrome that he has. And that's when... Um, Andy walks in and was like, what's going on here? And Hayden leaves. Or at least she asked Hayden what he was doing there and all that. And Hayden ended up leaving. So then Andy sits down wanting to know what's going on. Fatima really wasn't going to fill her in on what happened the night before. But then Andy's like, you know, Karen already told me, you know, and just talking about it. Um, and wanted to know, like, more. Like, tell me more what's going on and all this kind of stuff. And Fatima really... I don't know. I think she didn't really feel like sharing as much everything. And she was just like staring at Andy's chest. <laughs> she was like, what, are, what are you wearing? You know what I mean? Do you need me to go get you a blouse? Which is what we were all thinking. Like, she's like, is it too much? Yeah, it's too much. Hoping you see Robin. So you just gonna go to the office and yo, going out club wear now like i'm trying to figure out my lawyer sat down like that i'm gonna be like who you what so uh <laughs> that was funny 
So they, uh, she's like, no, I don't want you to go give me a blouse. It was funny. She got up and left. And I did leave out the part where Sabrina's like, well, maybe we should talk to Andy. And, and, um, and, and, and Danny was like, she's a divorce attorney. She's a marriage attorney, divorce attorney. What's she going to do about criminal? You know, like, <laughs> what's she going to do for, for you? She ain't a criminal attorney. <sighs> these, these, these people is driving me crazy, y'all. Like, I, I'm so, like. So, anyway, Zach, go back to Zach. <sighs> Y'all, Zach finally, finally, you know, that lady had been calling him, the senator's wife. And remember last week I said, I hope this ain't what I thought it was. It was what I thought it was. Like, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> why would this be? Why? So, Zach goes to the hotel because this lady's very demanding. And he gets there and she's like, I'm not going to say anything. And he was feeling better about that. Like, okay, good. Okay, great. Okay, like, okay. And yeah, I'm going to keep the secret and you don't have to worry. You know, I'm going to, you know, because I've made you, but she, she's still alluding to, I made you very rich, you know, and uh, now you're a millionaire. You you know, I'm not, I'm not going to mess up your game. Like, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna mess it up. And she and her, she and her, I guess her sexy wear. That's supposed to be a sexy clothes wear. Sexy clothes. <laughs> that's supposed to be like her freakum dress, but it wasn't a dress. It was like a robe or something. But she up in in the bed and stuff. And I'm just like, what? I know they're not gonna make this situation what it is, what it was. So Zach gets ready, to walk out. She's like, if you sleep, if you, um, if you, <laughs> I won't say anything. If you sleep with me. Yeah, I'm not lying. I was like, I was all kind of through. Like, huh? Say what? Huh? What is it about Zach that everybody wants him? And I just don't understand it. I, I'm trying to, What? why is all these women after Zach, including the senator's wife? I was shocked, but I kind of knew that was happening because last week I said, okay, I think this is going a different direction. And Zach is like, what? I feel so sorry for Zach. I know Zach is tired of this mess. He tired of this. He tired of this. Like all these women, all these women want him. He tired of it. So, um, what part did I leave out? Let me go back. I left out the part when um, Karen goes to the shop and that girl Heather shows up at the shop and Pam is like, oh, you know how Pam is, what is going on? <laughs> so Pam is like, what is going on basically? And um, this this lady, at, this girl at the shop is like, she been waiting to talk to you. So Karen's like, what you want? And the, and the lady was like, you know, I just want to tell you he really loved you and uh, he was talking about you. And Karen's like, that's supposed to make me feel better? That's supposed to make me feel better? Like, really? That he was with you and, and, and he was talking about me? Like, how how was that going to make me feel better? And then the lady said she was drunk. That's another sip. The lady said that Zach was drunk when they got together. A drunken night. And she said she was drunk. Last night when she stopped by the house. And then she was like, um, well, better be, you better be happy that you didn't marry him because I'm coming for him. So we know she going after his money. And then Karen didn't give her the reaction she wanted. And I think she called Karen to be. And of course, Pam's like, who are you talking to? Like that, who you call? You know. And so... Karen had tears on the lady to leave. She left. And then Karen, Pam was trying to talk to her. And you know how Karen gave Pam a hard time. And Pam was like, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I work in a front office. And then she said, well, do your job. But we ain't got no front office. That was kind of funny. That was funny. And then somebody called in and Pam was like, uh, Pam was like, yeah, Karen's hair, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she don't do perms well, so she don't do no good perms. But I was cracking up. Pam was funny. Pam is funny. 
So I like her. I don't like that Karen treats her so bad. Like, if I was Pam, I'd just do my job. I wouldn't even be trying to be like helpful and all that. I just do my job because obviously she don't value you as outside of the job. She don't value you outside of the job. So, and that showed for sure. So, I think that probably pretty much sums up what happened last night. Um, previews showed that the lady, uh, Zach, is going to be talking to Hayden about. I mean, not Hayden. Lord knows he's talking to Hayden. Zach's going to be talking to Jake about the lady and, and how she wants him to sleep with him. And then Fatima's going to walk out here and sleep with who? You know, like, walk in. So that didn't look good at all. Not at all. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, next week is the season finale. We were a week early. We we're trying to figure out, is it one more episode? Because they kept saying one more episode, but it's one more episode. That's the season finale, which is next week. Hopefully everyone's feeling better and we can do it up really big. I'm hoping. I'm praying for the best. Fingers crossed. Um, but I just hope we don't be left with so many cliffhangers until we, like, lose interest. Or so many cliffhangers until we be like, really, Tyler? Really? Tyler, really. So uh, <laughs> I'm hoping we can wrap up some of the storyline. Like I want, I hope Maurice catches on a Q situation and we don't have to see that long drawn out storyline with Q turning in the stuff and then turning in the recording and then they go to court and all that. I don't want to see all that. I just want them to wrap it up. I want Maurice to catch Maurice or even Penny Man, if he come back, catch um, Q, what he trying to do and shut him down. Or play a game with him, make him think he knows what he do, and still sh shut him down. I want to see that. Hayden, I really believe, hired Heather. I strongly believe Hayden hired Heather. I don't think that's Zach's kid. And I think she's hired to kind of cause a rift. A rift between, which is what Hayden's been trying to do the whole time. So I think, um, I think... Hayden hired her to cause a rift between Zach and Fatima. Why is Hayden so invested? I'm so tired. Like, I don't know. Like, what more do he want? I'm like, Fatima, what more do you want? Like, what's wrong with you? But um, I, I would like to see something with Hayden happen, whether he get fired or something. It make me feel better about the situation. Like, I feel much better. So, Tyler. Give us some type of satisfaction through that, uh, with that storyline. <laughs> Zach needs a win. I, okay, so first of all, y'all can give Zach this great relationship with Fatima and then just keep keep playing around with it. Like, it's so many storylines y'all could be hitting. Why we got to keep going back to this, bringing Zach down? I mean, we tired of the, I'm tired of the Zach Karen storyline. I think Ebony is an amazing actress. I think let her do some, you know, let's move on from that storyline. Let her get her acting chops into some other type of storyline at this point. Because this one is keep, it just keeps going and I want to see some resolution. I really do. I want to see her get some type of resolution. You know, I thought she, last week, I really thought she was moving into the grown up. I'm maturing. I'm, I'm learning to let go of this relationship. But this week. It was all sorts of crazy. Like she, she just didn't know. She just doesn't know how to let go, and it's destroying her. And that's that's a real reaction because some women just don't know when to when enough is enough. They don't know when to let go. I so I understand that, but I'm here for Zach and Fatima living. They need they need something else besides the baby mamas and the babies popping up. It's like one baby mama, two baby mama. You know what I mean? Like, what else we going to have another one come up? We we need something different from, from them. Yes. So, I would like to see none of the babies be his. <laughs> but um, I would like to see none of the babies be his. And I would like to see... Um, sorry, y'all. I'm just chilling at home. Just chilling at home. I would like to see... <sighs> What would I like to see from Zach and Fatima? Just the dynamics of, of a relationship of Fatima just letting, she's already letting down her guard a little bit, but them two learning to be in a really healthy relationship would be great for me to see. I would like to see that. 
So, Sabrina, y'all, come on. How y'all going to be putting the storyline of Sabrina and Maurice? Like, Maurice, first of all, keeps getting the worst storylines ever when it comes to relationships. Give him somebody that's going to stand in his corner. We know we got to have some drama. It's enough drama within relationships, believe me. We don't need all these baby mamas to be popping up in, in, the, in the relationship. We don't need all these criminals be popping up in Maurice. <laughs> Maurice's life, you know, if you want to put him with Patty Man, then put him with Patty Man. I'm okay with that at this point because he already living in the house. But Patty Man says he's straight, so we can't do that. But I'm saying, if if that should, if he wants to, if it's going to be a storyline like that, then just bring them together because I'd rather them be together than CQ manipulating, abusing in the, the situation. I think it's a mess. It's a mess. Okay. Yeah. Aaron. What we gonna do with Aaron, y'all? Is he is he gonna is he gonna be the baby daddy? First of all, if Aaron becomes the baby daddy, then I could see him being in the storyline as the baby daddy, and maybe Karen will eventually want to be with him in the way that he wants to be with her. But is it gonna be too late? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That was funny. Okay, is it going to be too late? And then, <sighs> Gary. I'm with my sister last week. She's like, Gary need to go somewhere and get some help. Just, I want to see him go get help. Leave Andy alone. Andy, leave Gary alone. Everybody say that I'm like this. Andy, get over there. Stay in your corner. And you don't talk to him. Gary, you get over there. Stay in your corner and leave her alone. Y'all just leave each other alone. You're not... It's not a healthy situation for either of you guys. Don't do it. Robin. Robin is Andy's boss. Now, Andy going to have to really be careful with Robin because he is the boss. And I, something in me tells me there is even more to his situation. And that I'm not sure of, but I feel it. So, so I think... That Annie's gonna have to be really careful that she don't jump out of one bad situation into another, but that's what it looks like she's doing. And that's okay. Give us a storyline with that. That's fine. I'm tired, y'all. Well, who else I left out? Hayden. I want them to let Fatima release her goons and tear hating butt up and i'm serious this time not to put him on the counter naked type put him i'm talking about really make him not <laughs> revisit this again make him just leave him alone forever like i need i ain't an advocate for violence let me drink on that because i don't know but i need hating to be gone Or give Hayden a love interest. Give Hayden somebody to deal with to take up his time, occupy his time, and we watch their story unfold. Preston and Danny is a couple. Danny can't get away from Preston. Preston can't get away from Danny. They love each other too much. I saw the preview. Preston talking about leaving. Danny ain't going to have it. Danny loves Preston. Preston loves Danny. Cows and all. Danny loves that cow stuff. <laughs> She really loved him. She just wanted him to be respectful and she wanted him to be knowledgeable and attempt to make an attempt to learn and understand her, which I think can be a real storyline in any relationship, especially an interracial relationship. And I would like to see that. That's something interesting that I would love to see. I would love to see how they maneuver that. I would love to see the things that come up, you know, you know, hair and all those different topics that come up that are so important to, to us and our culture in in you know in and how how that works in a relationship that's that's starting i would like to see that i don't want to see her with logan i don't trust logan i don't trust bio and sabrina bio is into that sex trafficking that's why i believe that the cop knows who he is or he was so familiar because he's into some stuff that's what i think so, and I don't know if he's connected either, even to the bank robbery because it was a head man that wanted Q them to do this bank robbery. And I'm hoping 
the one bio. But part of me down in my Shondo feels like he was involved. I do. Mm, so sad. So Sabrina gonna go back to Panty Man. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be. Um, it is written. <laughs> that is what's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so um, who did I say? Danny, I said that. Karen, we gonna pray for Karen. Karen needs a lot of prayer. Karen needs Jesus. Karen needs, Karen needs her mama. We said it last week. Where's her mother? Her mother needs to pop back in. Help your daughter out. She needs some help with this situation. Fatima and Zach, y'all focus on your relationship. Don't let all these outside sources keep coming in. Let us watch this relationship grow and develop and him break down her. Um, <laughs> I can't say what I want to say because it didn't sound right. What else would it come out of my mouth? I would say break down her walls, but I mean break down. <laughs> y'all know, y'all get your mind out the gut. I mean break down her hardness and her you know her her guard help her <laughs> help her let her guard down just a little bit is what i'm trying to say okay i would like to see that so i don't know what next this week is going to bring it's cliffhangers and a lot uh, it's going to be a lot of cliffhangers because it's the season finale and that's what they just that's what they do for season finales y'all they just leave us hanging just hanging <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> Y'all, I always make myself laugh. My mom is the one who be saying off the wall stuff. And I just feel like I just did that this whole that whole little blurb. So I, my intentions were my intentions were good. Sorry, y'all. So let me just tell y'all what I did last week. I went to a tea, right? A tea where you actually drink tea we dressed up and I have my little you know little hat with the little veil thing on it was just so much fun let me tell y'all they had it decorated really nice we sipped tea we talked it was such a good fellowship of women like just enjoying each other and just chilling and I just had a really really good time and so I'm like my weekends is getting great y'all so one week I went to Jenna Jackson. The next week I'm at a tea. This weekend I'm going to a storytelling reading of my friend. So I'm just having a great time on the weekends. I'm looking forward to it because I work. I went back to a traditional job, nine to five. So I work all week. So I, I'm ready. I'm ready to like let my hair down. You know, my pony got. I gotta do my hair, but <sighs> so. Yeah, so it was so so fun. I'm going to play some of it right here. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to let it play out. But listen, before I let it play, I'm going to tell you guys, you guys go out. You be great today. Whatever it is you do, whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is you dream of doing, you go out, you do it, and you be great today. Huh? <laughs>
coming tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.